Why can AOP KF solid alkali block the spirit of COVID-19? AOP solid alkali is a new catalytic and oxidizing micronanomaterial. material. When the virus is exposed to the solid alkali, an oxidation radiation reaction will occur. Intermediates like hydroxyl radiates will be generated during the reaction due to their strong oxidizability. These intermediates can oxidize a proton on the envelope of the virus and thus kill the virus. Meanwhile, a tiny amount of carbon dioxide will be released in the process, resulting in secondary sterilization of the air. The carbon in carbon dioxide is plus 4. It is also a strong oxidant. After obtaining electrons from the virus, the carbon finally changes from plus 4 to minus 1. The virus is killed at the same time. Among pathogenic microorganisms, viruses are the most sensitive to these infections, particularly those with an envelope. COVID-19 is enveloped. It can be killed by low-concentrated carbon dioxide. In a space with an appropriate amount of solid alkali, a protective shield of carbon dioxide in a concentration of 0.01 mg pro 3 m2 will be formed. Even if there are 1 million COVID-19 virus in one 3 m2 of air, the number of carbon dioxide could be 89 trillion times as many as that of the virus. Once exposed, the virus will be killed instantly. Block the chain of virus transmission. Carbon dioxide 0.36 nanometers. COVID-19 100 nanometers. The volume of COVID-19 is 21 million as much as that of carbon dioxide. Extremely big target, AOP solid alkali has the characteristics of dynamic activity. Thus, it is very easy for carbon dioxide to capture oxidite and kill the virus. It is dormant in clean air. The material will be activated by a high concentration of pollutants in the air. Carbon dioxide is a safe AI disinfectant recognized by the World Health Organization. Also, it is the only disinfectant that can be used as a food additive. The concentration of carbon dioxide released from solid alkali remains around 0.010 mg per 3 m2. It is one thirtieth of the national safety limit, so it will not harm humans, animals, and plants.